Start the level on Nightfall. You can do it on Normal. I do it with uh, Grunt's Birthday Party and some other skulls on. None that actually affect the gameplay. Walk until you get to the f right before the first Elite and you'll get a checkpoint. Right there, you can keep uh, reloading that checkpoint, getting headshots and killing Elites really quickly. And then it's important that you kill both of these Grunts with melee and also these down here because you have a better chance of getting plasma nades, which you'll want four grenades for this. Then this continue on like normal here. Lollygag around, all that good stuff. Then you'll come here and you want to stay on one of these top two tiers and snipe all these enemies as quickly as possible. Which, as you can see, I'm no pro, and I still manage to pull this off. The trick is to stay back, I believe. That keeps this elite ship from spawning, which is the key to this. Ooh, midair. Yeah, I'm that great. All right. And these are just some grunts. Every now and then there'll be a gold elite spawned behind you, so watch out for that. Let's kill these guys quickly. And if you uh, want, you can shoot those exploding gas chambers to the right there. A lot of times, though, that will trigger the elite dropship coming in a lot sooner. There's one of the gold elites right in front of me. And when you hear him say incoming, that means that ship's incoming. Crouch against this wall, and you should get a checkpoint. And there's the checkpoint. Now the trick is, it drops a bunch of jackals and elite. It's a plan a nade right at their feet, which it takes me a couple of tries in the video. But if you can plan it right at their feet, you'll get three to four kills with one nade. And then, once I do it here, I'll explain the rest. Well, basically, I mean, there's going to be a bunch of grunts that jump out the other side that you can get a ton of nade kills on easier than these guys. But you have to take these guys out to make the uh, grunt killing easier. Which you want to use plasma nades here because the normal nades tend to bounce, obviously. So if you can get a well-placed plasma nade, you'll get two or three kills, then run down here. And there's a large group of grunts. And you usually can get five to six grenade kills out of them, which you'll see a couple here. It takes me quite a few tries to get it right, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's as easy to keep hitting it over and over. As you can see, I'm definitely no pro. There was a better place nade. I'm like John Madden, just doing a commentary. I think this is where I started to get the hang of it again. A couple of nades. Still not perfected. There you go. Start picking up from here. Which is nice if you can get a nade or a sticky nade down there and a normal nade near the grunts because they'll explode generally about the same time. But sometimes I miss the aim and I just wing some down there. As you can see, sometimes I just miss totally because I'm such a noob. This is sticky there. And. Wow. 
missed. Epic failures left and right on this video, folks. Three. And... Six. Four. And six. Four. And six. See, once you get the hang of it, piece of cake. I like to call this method the uh, grunt punch nade raid method. You punch grunts, raid them of their nades, and then you kill some enemies with nades. Grunt punch raid of nades. Nade raid. Whatever you want to call it. Grunt punch. Nade raid. Grunt punch nade raid. Tell your friends about it. Tell your mom. Tell your dad. I want to meet that dad. I want that dad's email address. Me and that dad, we're going to punch grunts together, if you know what I mean. And raid them of their nades. I think you get the drift, so... The main thing is, uh, punch those grunts, get those nades, kill enemies quick, get that checkpoint, and then just keep reloading and find your grenade placements and then you'll be good to go. Um, the only other thing is at the beginning there, if you want to get uh, elite kills, the leadership kills, and uh, easy snipes, you can get that checkpoint right before and just keep reloading that. Other than that, uh, you get the drift.